Hey guys, Ivan here, so we have an interesting video right now, it is Brad Wilkin and Ivana Ivusic leaving hostile supplements, uh, maybe because of uh, this guy right here on the photo as well, Nick Walker, maybe there are some other reasons, I did some detective work, I have some interesting information, so I'm gonna present it all to you guys, it's gonna be an interesting video, stay tuned, so basically it started by Fuad posting this video. Brett and Ivana, they are no longer with Team Hostile. They have decided to move on. So, as soon as this got out, I DM'd Ivana, uh, Brett's wife. Yeah, her name is actually pronounced Ivana, not Ivana. I know that because she's from Serbia, like myself, like Milo Sarja, for example. But whenever I mention something about Serbia to her, she ignores it. I don't know why. I never heard her speak uh, Serbian. I would love to hear that, by the way. I was a fan of her before I was a fan of Brett. Anyways, I approached her, I asked her what happened, and this was her response. She asked me not to make a video about it before they make an official statement, I respected that. I didn't make a video about it until they made a statement, which is right now, I'm gonna show that to you after this. Uh, so she also says that Fuad made a mistake, which was very unprofessional of him. You're gonna see why was it unprofessional and why was it a mistake. So let's go into Brett's video now, where he made a statement. You know, today Fuad announced that Ivana and myself are no longer with Hostile. We are in the works of finding a new beginning in regards to sponsors. And so that's in, a, in the process right now. It wasn't really, I wasn't really ready for it to be released yet. Um, and so we're in some talks right now. And I will inform you right when I get everything finalized. We are extremely excited for what's ahead. All right, now let's get to the reasons why this happened. Well, first of all, everybody assumed that it was because of Nick Walker. As you guys know, Nick Walker was coached by Matt Jansen, and he stopped working with Matt Jansen, uh, allegedly because he didn't want Matt to coach Brett. Now, Brett was sponsored by Hostile at the time, and when Nick got fired from Raw and Revive, uh, Hostile took Nick. So, Brett and Nick were in the same team, and they had uh, this, uh, this problem, this issue before, when they were working with Matt, both of them. And now they were both sponsored by the same company, they are doing the same podcast with Fuad. You know, it was a little bit weird for a while there. I was curious what's gonna happen next. Are these guys gonna get along well? Are they gonna stay in the same team? Or is one of them gonna leave? And obviously it ended by Brett leaving the hostile. Now, I'm sure that was partly a deciding factor, but was it all of it? No, no, it seems like it wasn't. Before I reveal the actual reason why this happened, let's check out the comments in the YouTube video that uh, Brett just made. So this guy commented, I have a feeling Brett is going to move to Florida and sign with Raw and Revive. And this only makes sense, so as far as top open bodybuilders, Matt's best client right now seems to be Brett Wilkin. And recently, obviously, Nick Walker left, so that left a huge space to be filled in by another top pro, who else but Brett Wilkins. So that makes a lot of sense, that's most likely going to be the case. And um, then the, the reply to this comment was, um, that's what Fuad said in the first video he made, but he took it down. And I didn't see that video. If you guys saw that video, tell me in the comment section. But apparently in the first video that Fuad made that he took down, he said that Brett is actually going to go with the Raw and Revive and Matt Jensen. Should we trust some random dude commenting in the, in the YouTube section? No, but here Brett confirmed it. So another guy commented uh, saying, you weren't ready for Fuad to release the statement and Fuad wasn't ready for you to just get up and leave. So I guess it's fair game. Brett's response is, it wasn't his statement to release, as nothing is finalized yet about my future spot. It was also a renegotiation period, so yes, leaving was an option, as he knew. So another guy comments, I think Fuad is allowed to say when an athlete leaves the company. And then Brett confirms what I read before in the comment, he originally said more than that, which this guy is referencing to. So I didn't catch that video, but apparently Fuad said that Brett and Ivana are gonna go to Raw and Revive with Matt Jensen. The next thing that I'm thinking is whether Fuad really made a mistake or did he do that on purpose? And also, was it really wrong from Fuad to make a statement before uh, Brett and Ivana made the statement? Because look, I mean, if they are already sponsored by another company and a new company is trying to hire them, they probably do have a better negotiating position. And now that they are without a sponsor, their value is a little bit lower. So obviously what Fuad did wasn't exactly the nicest thing. I don't know what is their past. 
Did they piss foot off by leaving unexpectedly? Was it something else behind the scenes? Well, I don't really know everything, but I have some info, so let's go. Uh, there is this next YouTube comment, it was very interesting. And this is something that I am personally mainly concerned about. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Fuad's podcast, and I was really curious whether Brett is gonna stay in that podcast. Now, I love Brett as a, as a bodybuilder, as a physique, I'm a huge fan of him. But I was also a fan of him on the podcast, he has a great personality, I loved him being a part of that podcast, and it looks like he's no longer gonna be there. So the question was, will you still be a part of the podcast? And uh, <laughs> a reply there was, of course, just like Nathan. And you guys know that Nathan also was a part of Hostile, and he was you know, fired, or he left, whatever, and you can no longer see Nathan in the podcast. So, uh, Brad Wilkin also responded to this by posting this emoji, laughing emoji, so it looks like, uh, yeah, most likely he's no longer gonna be a part of the podcast, not just because he he, he left the, the Hostile. It seems like they left in, in not like the best terms, and also, um, you know, Brad's statement that, that Fuad posted that unexpectedly, that uh, they didn't hope for that, they didn't want to release the statement yet, you know, it all looks like they are not exactly in the best terms right now. And, you know, it's Fuad's podcast, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Not all of the guys are sponsored by Hostile, as you can see right here, Guy is sponsored by Blackstone Labs, and Ian is sponsored by Raw and Revive, uh, I'm sure Fuad would like to have these two guys on the team, though I don't know about Ian, it seems like there is something off between Fuad and, and Ian, uh, they're challenging each other very often, you know, they're both very uh, dominant males, <laughs> that's, what I, that's the impression that I got, uh, I don't know if you guys feel the same if you're watching the show, Anyways, if he wants Brad there, he will invite him. If he doesn't, he won't. Um, now, it's not... This podcast is not only for the hostile athletes, but he does use it to help his athletes uh, promote themselves, you know, as a part of the contract, maybe it's not like written in the contract, but you guys can see that everybody who signs with Hostile, they come to the podcast, and they really gain a lot of popularity, Brett did that too, I mean, he gained a lot from the podcast, he gained a lot of popularity, it's not just the podcast, of course, he plays pretty well at the shows, he has a great physique, and I'm sure he will achieve a lot more in the future as far as bodybuilding, but a podcast definitely helps him a lot. Alright, and finally, let's get to what Ivana had to say about is why they left, and she said that they left for more opportunities and more growth. Le they left for life after bodybuilding, and they left to be a part of something bigger. I mean, she didn't really say it in these words, but they left for money. As you can see, more opportunities, more growth, life after bodybuilding, meaning to actually have some money when they retire and to be a part of something bigger, because Hostile was too small for them, they probably weren't making enough, so apparently that was the main reason, there are other reasons, probably Brett wasn't super happy with Nick being there, probably Matt made a good offer to Brett, and I'm guessing there were some other issues behind the scenes between Fuad and Brett that we don't know about, but based on Ivana, Brett's wife, the reason they left was uh, for something bigger, for more opportunities, for uh, like more money after bodybuilding, so apparently they got a good offer and they decided to take it and they are no longer gonna be part of uh, Fuad Abiyad's uh, hostile supplement brand and also probably uh, Brett is not gonna be a part of the podcast, unfortunately for us bodybuilding fans. Even though that is a pretty sad news, we have something very exciting, and this is a photo posted on Flex magazine, also it was posted by Phil Heath and Dan Solomon, these two guys met each other, they went for drinks and they had a good talk, apparently they talked for 4 hours, as Dan Solomon says, what they were talking for 4 hours, we don't really know, but they have both, as you can see right here, confirmed that the 2020 Olympia was a part of the discussion. Now, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Phil Heath, and I made a couple of videos about him, in which he looks really good, really big, and this is the newest photo of himself, take a look at this guy right here. It's just one of many photos where Phil Heath looks really good, and again, as I said it before, if he was retired, he would downsize, I mean, he could look really good at like 210 pounds with his frame, and look, he's not like an actor, like High Green, 
there is basically no reason for him to be this big. And the only reason that I can think of is him actually still not being sure whether he's gonna retire or not. And most likely, he's gonna be competing again. Why wouldn't he? I mean, we saw his stomach. It looks pretty good. And that was basically the only reason why he didn't win all those Mr. Olympias. In every other aspect, he was better than all the other guys. And now, he's talking to Dan Solomon, and they confirmed that they were talking about Mr. Olympia. So they were talking for four freaking hours. In those four hours, who knows what was said, but they are looking very optimistic, they are smiling in the photo, so they probably had a positive discussion. And again, like I mentioned it so many times, Phil Heath looks huge right now. And if he was really retired, I don't think he would be this huge. And I'm repeating myself, but guys, this is very, very positive. Now, with knowing that Phil Heath and Dan Solomon, the president of the Mr. Olympia, had a sit down for four hours. And they confirm that they were talking about the Mr. Olympia 2022. This makes me feel very optimistic. And I'm pretty sure we will see Phil Heath at the Mr. Olympia 2022. So guys, whatever you think about Brett leaving Hostile, whether Fuad was right for posting that video, whether uh, Brett is gonna have more luck in Raw and Revive, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think about Phil Heath as well. And like this video if you enjoyed it. For more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.